nature and people thrive together and most people live in cities. So having that urban perspective integrated into the thinking, into our policies is absolutely critical. People out there, they don't understand loss and damage. They don't understand when you say adaptation. They don't really understand all the jargons that we're coming up with. For them, what matters is that I've been impacted by like floods, I've been impacted by hailstorms, I've been if impacted by landslides. And then what's next? What's going to happen to me and what are the solutions? And they want that to be in a way that they'll be able to relate to it. So, for all the people we love, we, our family, friends, or maybe our pets, uh, and everything we care about. I want to remind us to take action right now, no matter what our profession is. The big point I would hope to make is that often artists get uh, sidelined to just be communicators of, of science or climate science or policy. But art in itself is a form of research and that artists are researchers, they are thinkers and theorizers. And, and that we really need to see in artivism a kind of a push to see arts practice-based research entering in a lot of the policy change and the activism and the responses to the climate crisis. And one of our most interesting results over the past couple of years is that we found as a result of Shenzhen's well-designed and plentiful urban green spaces, it actually reduces the, the temperature, the average temperature of the city by a very significant margin that translates not into just more comfortable living conditions, but also a lot of energy savings, therefore emissions reduction. We all have a role to play, lasting legacy. Our tomorrow starts today, lasting legacy. And so on the note of resilience, I'll leave you with this. Resilience is our ability to persevere against all, all odds and remain true to our sacred heart spaces. That is justice and that is what we're all building together. And now you are a warrior for justice. You're a warrior for the rights of indigenous people. You're a warrior for the rights of nature. And to me, there is no cooler job. Thank you.